hi my loves welcome back to the stars cartel channel if you don't know i'm star today i am here with the message y'all okay this message is so interesting i was watching the show queen charlotte um it is like a series for uh the bigger series bridgerton by netflix i love it anyways um like i i just love it y'all like just the timing the gowns and the castles and the gardens i just love it so much and the little balls and all, i just I, I like had the little parties and all that i love it okay anyways y'all know i'm super girly i love it um it shocked me though because i found it so funny um there was a part of the show where queen charlotte is concerned you know it's going back and forth with her and her youth and what she had to go through when she got married um, to her husband and um, what they went through in order to um, not only consecrate their marriage, but also to have a royal baby, okay? There was a lot of pressure on them to have a baby. And there is a lot of pressure on her for her children to have a baby, you know? Um, and she, I think they had 15 and you know um i will also add that this is about a person a true a true queen a real queen in real life okay they had 15 but 13 survived into adulthood and um anyways that's like the backstory of the actual message okay the message came through when she was talking to her children about this and she was basically saying like i want a baby i want a grandbaby i don't care which one of y'all give me the grandbaby but i want my grandbaby okay and i want a legitimate grandbaby and she kept emphasizing that because um her sons <laughs> this is part that was so funny to me this tickled me so much her sons one of her sons was like but well, mother there are children and she was just like shame on you okay and it's just like <laughs> But it's funny to me because she was just like, I am standing in between virgins to my right and thoughts to the left. Like, what do I do? Okay. And it's just, uh, it's just like, it, it was the stress of like, yes, her sons have had children. Their family name will go on, but she wants them to have a certain type of child. She wants this child um, to be by a certain person a certain kind of person and you know for the most part um one thing she kept pushing um not you know they're royalty so of course they're expected to be um married into royalty but at the same time she was just basically saying i want this to be legitimate get married to somebody build a life with this person and have children with this person okay um so that's what god started talking to me through y'all I, I i just i could not with them like i gotta keep get back to i'm gonna finish watching it today i didn't finish yesterday i watched a few episodes and then i let my husband take over the tv and he got to watch what he wanted to watch so today i guess after i finished my uh recording videos while i'm trying to get myself together my stomach i don't know what's going on my stomach is hurting me y'all that's why this video is late um but anyways, like, uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to watching it after at, later on. The scripture comes from Psalm 91. Whoever dwells in a shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. All right. This is what God said for somebody, for somebody, for somebody. My hand is just going, it going, it going, it going. This is for somebody, okay? 
God said, God said, God said, God said, God said, God said. I'm going to also add that while I was reading this scripture, God reminded me of the story of, um, I'm trying to think. I think it was, I, like, it's, I, 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 Abraham is on my, t on, on the tip of my tongue, I, but I don't think it was Abraham. Um. It is Abraham. Yeah, I, I was right. Okay. Y'all saw it. Y'all saw it. I was right. I called it. And then I... Anyways, Abraham. Abraham or Abraham. Okay. His wife could not get pregnant. Okay. And because she... She had just accepted the fact that she was barren and she would not be able to have a baby for him. So what she did, what they decided to do was for him to get the servant pregnant and the servant have him a baby. And um, as we already know, God said, no, that's not what I said. I, it's not what that's not what I call for it to be just because it's not coming exactly when you want it don't mean that you gotta go out and been and do all this extra stuff you know even um with that you know they had that baby was the baby is the baby Ishmael I believe the baby was Ishmael y'all know what I mean okay they they have the baby and this baby starts to grow up. His wife don't feel some kind of way about the baby. Eventually, God blesses her and she gets pregnant. And now it's just kind of like, you know, the baby is just basically, I, I don't know how to say, I just feel like the baby ends up kind of in a limbo type, a limbo, yeah, limbo type state because um, this baby is in a position to where the father did not really want to have the baby with that woman. The mother did not really want to have a baby with that man. But the baby is here. And um, the baby was only created because allegedly the mother, the wife could not get pregnant. But then she gets pregnant. And now it's like, I feel like God is saying for somebody, okay? <laughs> wait okay it, it there's no need to rush and just like um this might be for somebody that just really wants to have a baby okay god is saying that it will be better for you to wait until you are married to the person that you are destined to be with so that you two can raise your baby together okay um i i get it like um you know it is easier to get pregnant when you are younger it is more convenient as um it's easier to heal afterwards pregnant um being pregnant is in itself very um traumatizing on the body um it is very it's a lot okay just the getting pregnant is a lot and then you are pregnant and that's a lot and then giving birth is a lot raising a baby is a lot all of this is a lot and it is it causes a lot of stress and if you are in a position to where you are not um with someone that you are going to be with you're not with your person you're not married you are planning on being single and raising a baby you are calling you are basically asking for uh, a very uh, sh that you're asking for that you're you're calling it you're bringing it to yourself and you know it's not to say that it's impossible to be a single mom like no okay as someone who has been a single mom it's not impossible to be a single mom it's not um to a point to where no you can't do it and you know god is not gonna put anything on you that's too much but i feel like this is for somebody that is going about it in a way like you are deliberately trying to get pregnant knowing good and well you have no intentions on being in a relationship with anybody 
God is saying, wait, okay? I, like, God just flashed to see what she could. Like, I'm going to say it again. When the son was like, but mother, there are children. And she turned to him and said, shame on you. Okay? No. <laughs> you wait. You wait. <laughs> you wait, okay? And going into the scripture, you know, basically here, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This part of the scripture in general, let me tell you, I just feel like this is saying, if you just listen to God, you will avoid so much stress, so much um, just drama, so much madness. Like, I, I can be a living witness. I'm pretty sure um, 9 out of 10, whomever I'm speaking to, I'm pretty sure you know people who have... Um, have to deal with co-parenting and you know everybody doesn't have the luxury of getting along slowly with their the person that their co parenting everybody doesn't um sometimes it's a lot of drama sometimes it's a lot of arguments sometimes it's, it's just so much stress like like don't 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 let it like don't forbid uh somebody ends up you know um uh, there's a tough breakup and then one person gets somebody and the other person's trying to interfere with that relationship that person like it's, it's it's a bunch of drama and i feel like god is saying for somebody this is not someone okay this has nothing to do with anybody you are in a relationship or you are married to somebody y'all had a child and y'all broke up and you ended up single this is not that story the storyline for this this is somebody who is single but wants a baby and what is kind of like thinking that they will just you know i'm gonna I'm have me a baby i'm gonna get pregnant i'm gonna have me a baby and that's just gonna be that god is saying you will be much happier and much better off if you wait and that's the message okay um yeah god and i'm looking at the scripture right here you will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked um God is saying that by you doing this, if you choose to do this, you are going to be putting yourself in that predicament. You're going to be putting yourself in that position. And um, it's not to say that God is not going to help you and God is not going to love you anymore. But I, I like I truly feel when I have put myself in positions where I knew I shouldn't have been doing whatever I was doing and I did it anyway and I carried on and I carried on and I carried on um, when the outcome came God helped me but he allowed me to linger in it for a second for a, a, as a part of the punishment for ignoring what God told you to do ignoring what God said you know God is saying no okay um yeah and you know in some cases i feel like for some uh i don't know why god has said god is reminded me about how um she was even going into detail saying that <clears throat> her children have they they're falling in love yes they know love but they're falling in love with the wrong people and one part that is sticking out to me is when she said that her sons have been falling in love with women who are already married okay um God, God is saying, uh, don't do it. 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 And that's all I can say. Like, don't do it. Um, even if, like, you know, I, I, I don't know what it is that you're going through. I don't know if somebody is sweet talking you in your ear, making you feel like this will be a good decision, a good choice. Um, I don't know if you feel as though you're doing this as a favor for somebody um, once again, this is not, I don't feel like this is a surrogate situation. I feel like this is a situation where somebody is agreeing or um, choosing to have a baby knowing that they will not be in a relationship. There's no strings attached. They have no relation to this person. It may even be to a point, um, I'm being reminded of when she kept saying that she is sick and tired of her son's having children that she has to ignore so this could even be a situation where somebody you you have the baby and your baby is a secret nobody even knows that that's such and such baby because such and such not claiming a baby and not claiming you god is saying that you think everything is going to be all sunshine and rainbows right now but let that first year pass let that second year pass 
let such and such move on with his life and he didn't go and live happily ever after and you you gonna feel you know you you got your baby and there may come a time when the child start asking where's my where's my dad or where's my mom what's going on why why don't i have both of my parents um you can try to find a person to substitute that but i feel like it just it like it, it takes a special kind of person you know to be able to fill in that kind of spot in in the way that they would need to and god is just saying like you know in, in situations where you have an option like this is somebody you have an option this is a choice that somebody is getting ready to make god said now if you know good and well you're about to be a single mom why would you put yourself through that be patient and know that god can make a miracle out of anybody god can make a way out of no way god is saying that he does not want someone to be feeling this way and um you know just like i said this is a situation this is somebody that is choosing to get pregnant with someone who is unavailable regardless to if they're unavailable because you told them you want them to be unavailable you are not in a relationship maybe you just randomly going and picking somebody and y'all sleeping together or whatever you don't even really know them or if it's a situation to where this is somebody that you do know but this person is married or in a relationship with somebody else and they are unavailable and god is saying warning mayday you are about to create a baby that is going to not receive the amount of love that it deserves to receive you are about to endure um a lot of hardship because of this decision so you know i i I'm, think about it that's all i gotta say think about it and you know it's not to say that you're gonna have to sit there in that punishment forever but it's not gonna be worth it like long story short it's not gonna be worth it and i feel like that's what god is saying it's not gonna be worth it you think it's gonna be worth it and it's not you think you're gonna be able to uh that this is what is going to make you happy but it's not god is saying that um if you listen to him he will save you okay and you yourself will sit back okay a thousand may fall at your side your right side your left side but it will not come near you god is saying that this whatever this situation is whatever is going on this could even be somebody like you know what you're doing could possibly cause you to end up with some kind of disease or something like that but god is saying that you are going to be in a position to where you're going to see this happening to people around you but he don't want this to come near you he don't want you to be going out doing what they're doing he don't want you to be like that you know um i remember there was a time when it was so popular when I, I think i was around 18 19 years old all the girls in the hood wanted to have a baby everybody want a baby i want to have a baby everybody got to have a baby and then they got to have a baby and they got to be by somebody that's well known in the hood this is such and such baby this is my this is such baby what i tell you when i let me tell you about life at house star was like i wish i would <laughs> I don't care. I don't care how many times my friends called me childish and said that because I ain't got no, you ain't got no kids yet start. So you childish. You ain't got no kids yet start. You immature. Everybody don't have the luxury of being able to go out on it. Man, I ain't try to hear it. I ain't try to hear it. I ain't try to hear it. I'm glad I waited until I did because I was able to get all of that, all of the young things, all the young stuff I wanted to do out my system before I actually had a baby. And I just feel like, oh, God. I just said for somebody um you you would turn out better if you would just wait okay don't put yourself in that position to where um you you end up feeling um feeling bad for decisions you made because you know today it seems like oh, i can have the baby and i'm not even gonna tell him that i got pregnant and you know 15 years down the line you know uh and i, I don't know I, I just feel like that's the message you know um 
once again, this is not, I will say it again, I will say it again for the people in the back, this is not a situation where someone was in a relationship with somebody and got pregnant. This is not someone was married, got pregnant, and got divorced. This is not someone was having whatever kind of relationship with someone and, um, you like, I already said that. This is not a situation where someone has decided to... Um, be with someone and have a baby this is not a situation where someone is just like they happen to get pregnant and surprise i'm going to end up having a baby this is somebody deliberately choosing to sleep with someone for the specific reason to get pregnant by them while knowing deep down inside they have no intentions of having a relationship with that person um, probably no intentions of the baby having a relationship with that person. God says, shame on you. You better not. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you to everybody that donates. It really does help out. It really does help out. It really does help out. I love you guys to bits and pieces, and I'll see you guys later. Deuces.